What's up guys, welcome to the Outdoor Outcast, and today we're going to do another What is in My Pack video. Um, so, this past trip that we went on was the Faro meetup to uh, Spruce Grove Campground. So if you guys saw anything cool in that video, or you saw me in person and you want to know, hey, what was that? This is kind of uh, showing you what I brought with me for this trip. So as always, I start with my clothes because usually after a trip I change out of them just because they're kind of smelly. Um, and these videos are great because you get to see my dirty dishes two days later after the trip and my smelly socks. That's always good. <clears throat> so, starting from the ground up, I have my Kirkland brand merino wool socks. These kept me warm and dry, nice and crusty after a trip. These are the Fox Fox River um, liner socks. These things are awesome and these actually smell really terrible. <laughs> um, so Fox River uh, liner socks. I always do try to hike with liner socks and I don't get blisters. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Um, Pants. The pants I wore the whole trip are these Columbia either Omni Shade or Omni Dry pants. These things are awesome. They uh, dry out quick. They got a little dirty down by the, the cuffs as always they do. Um, awesome pants. Not much to say about those other than I did realize a couple trips ago this pocket is, is open. I popped a seam. It kind of blows. But I had I tried to have my mom fix it, and she's like, "No, go away." <clears throat> Underneath this shirt, I was wearing this um, this Nike dry fit shirt. Got this one at Ross or or Marshalls, super cheap. Um, Nike stuff is pretty expensive. It's nice and bright and yellow for you know being seen in the woods. So that was my undershirt. Plus, I couldn't find uh, my icebreaker marina wool, so that one had to do. And then the Walmart brand top gray shirt that I always wear that I need to get a new color of because um, cause all the videos of me and hiking that shirt, 10 bucks, looks stained, gross, really disgusting. I'm probably going to get a new one sometime soon. Oh, I forgot to ask, guys. If you guys would like to see a What's in My Pack video for every single trip I do, including day hikes, please write down in the comments below if you want to see that. Because um, my thinking was, oh, I'm just going to show you what was in my pack for my backpacking trips. But I was, I was talking to some people and they said, no, we want to see the What's in My Pack for the day hike. So comment if you guys want to see that. All right. So starting... Uh, top down with the pack. This is a four liter Sea to Summit dry bag. This is where I usually store my headlamp, which I left in Luis's car because we carpooled. So left, I don't have my headlamp, my five or six ounce first aid kit, my survival fire kit, and I just threw a big old um, pack of stormproof matches in there not too bit ago before the trip and that's all that's in there what I will do is I'll throw my wallet and my keys in this and my sunglasses so I don't lose them so that's kind of like a ditty bag that's all in there um, going top down this is a little cooler that I have that I um, I stored my shrimp in for my shrimp pot thai and also my eggs and what I did is I got this knockoff Kirkland brand Gatorade, froze it, and um, nice in the cooler. And then in here I have just a little Tupperware that I mixed all my sauces in, and then an empty fuel container canister that was most of the way empty that I brought with me, just to uh, knock it out. Alright, and what else? We have my uh, North Face... Um, what is that called? Nano puff? Jeez, what is it? Thermoball. Thermoball. Oh my gosh. North Face Thermoball jacket that 
kept me warm. And it was we were in the canyon, so the shade was kind of going the whole time. So uh, this kept me nice and warm, which was awesome. Really liked it. Plus, I was uh, the same color as Paul, so we were Naranja brothers, which is um, orange and Spanish. Next up is my little cook kit. This is my uh, Tokes 750 mil pot, uh, titanium. And here I always have a lighter. Always have uh, either this bandana or another one um, for my that covers my canister. Just this one was full. This canister was full. I just brought the other one because I brought two stoves. And then just a bandana so that thing doesn't rattle around and I have something to wipe up with. So that was my cook kit. One of my cook kits. Um, here, this was um, supposed to be my lunch for the first day. Um, I brought two of these, but I didn't eat lunch um, on Saturday. I wasn't, wasn't really hungry, just kind of snacked, I think. So didn't eat that, um, so I packed this in for nothing. This also came up to Matt Wilson with us. Didn't eat it up there either. All right, um, trash bag. This is this is what I use for my uh, pack liner to keep everything dry. Um, and then also at night, I I uh, throw my pack in it to get the so no scorpions come out. So brought that with me too. Um, and everything is just kind of in in mismatch order because we were trying to chuck it all in there to pack up after Mount Wilson because we got back later than we uh, thought. Um, MSR Groundhogs, I didn't mean to pack the full size ones with me because um, these are normally what I use for my hammock and stuff. But my tent also has the uh, smaller Groundhogs too, which came with my tent. So that was just in my tent bag, so I uh, kind of forgot they were in there. So I packed in extra tent sticks that I didn't need, but that's okay. Um, this here is my water. System. This is just a uh, little bag I had laying around for my ribs front pack and um, Sawyer Mini. Uh, you can see right there that is not the stock O-ring. <clears throat> so, for some reason the GoPro stopped recording and I kept trying to record but the voice activation that the, this GoPro Hero 5 has uh, kept recording so that's kind of annoying but Continuing on. So this is my water system. This is a Sawyer Mini with not the stock O-ring. What uh, what you don't do is you don't go like this. Oh, to get the water out, like just like that, um, because that O-ring will fly out. That happened a while ago, and those are just replacement for like a regular hose. The O-ring that's in there. Um, this here is just a 64 ounce. Um, Sawyer bag the, um, that you tie a string through, pull hole punch with a little carabiner, throw it over a log, a stick, or something, and then that way your bag hangs upside down. Um, this one, I, ha I had two of these when I initially bought them. They, uh, the first one gave out on me, and this was my backup, and this one also is uh, coming apart, and this one was leaking the whole trip. So I could still filter water, but it was definitely not the uh, most ideal situation. So I got to get a new one of those. Um, this is just tubing with one of these Sawyer um, doodads that ta that taps into uh, the top of your water bottles, so you can filter um, just like that. So you don't have to stick this inside your water bottles at all. You just have to. Tighten that to the top, screw that to the top. And then this, the very bottom, is a uh, camelback and platypus connector, so quick connect. So uh, that's how you fill your comebacks and stuff, which is cool. All right, continuing on. This is my Sea to Summit Eros pillow. This thing is nice and comfy, nice and light, four something ounces for it. Um, good pillow. Makes, makes a difference. I bought it for the hammock and I found myself using it um, on the ground too, because this was a ground trip. No my hammock here. All right, 
This um, is for filming. This is a GoPro head strap that I packed in and never used that I meant to use. And I had the opportunity to use it, um, but I didn't use it. Which is kind of stupid because we went on the zip line and I was going to go set the GoPro down that you were, you're seeing right now. And I went to go throw it on some leaves and it cracked the little lens protector. So it was okay because it was 20 bucks to replace, but it's still 20 bucks that I didn't have to spend. So, should have wore that. Plus, I packed in the weight. This is another Sea to Summit um, dry bag. This one we've had for years, um, and it is not waterproof anymore, but it's like water resistant. There's holes in it and stuff just from abrasion and stuff. Um, this is what I pack my clothes in. Um, so, these are firm grip gloves that you find at like Home Depot that keep you actually pretty warm and you can work in them and uh, we had the fire so we were sawing and stuff should, should have probably thrown those on but didn't just just cuz um, right here this is my smart wool top this was nice at night um, I didn't wear it around camp at all I just uh, went to bed in it and was nice and comfy kept me warm Oh no, I was wearing that around camp in the morning, under my jacket, I was wearing that. Um, this is synthetic mixed with wool socks. These are my, they're like loose fitting and these are what I wear at night to keep my feet warm. These things are awesome, so, and also I can hike in them, I have a clean pair of socks. These are my heavy, thick, um, smart wool bottoms. I wore these around camp in the morning underneath my Columbia pants. And these are nice and warm too. And took those off before we went on the hike to Wilson. Uh, good stuff. And continuing the theme with orange, um, had this from a hunting trip we did years and years ago. Um, I said I was like, "Full heck, I'm wearing all orange anyways. Might as well finish up the top. I just need some orange socks." I, but orange. And just a just a basic beanie. Um, these are shorts. Probably should have worn these up to Wilson because it was hot in the sun. Um, but I didn't. These are just nice, nice light running shorts. Um, a Via brand. Uh, I always like to wear bring shorts. I thought I was gonna do some swimming, but never did. And on the very bottom, extra bandana um, and my other glove and the dry bag. Continuing on. Oh, these are some wet wipes that Luis gave me. Thank you, Luis. I forgot toilet paper, which sucked. All right, this is what I cooked my uh, food on. This here is a depower stove with a wider base for um, like pan cooking. So depower stove, 15 bucks. These are awesome and cheap. Um, Lexan fork and Lexan spoon. Um, I was cooking with the fork, melted it, so this one is trash. Um, and then the spoon's still good. These things are awesome. Uh, except they melt. That's the only thing. And, and that's nice because they don't scratch your pants. But they are 58 cents at Walmart and REI. Um, MSR Pocket Rocket. This is what I cooked my noodles on. Um, and I did bring some soap, some uh, Sea to Summit Wilderness Wash. This is good stuff. Um, biodegradable. Use it for body wash and stuff like that too. This here is my MSR Quick Skillet, wrapped in just a cotton bandana, and it's still got bacon grease on it. Solid. And so that worked out great. Oh, it's got it's got egg on it still. That's it's real gross. Or that's real nice after. Uh, Two days of it in my backpack. Alright, um, this actually goes in that Sea to Summit red bag. I always bring, now that it's winter time, just a pair of hand warmers, you never know. Just in case kind of deal. Got those. Um, right here is my hammock gear uh, 20 degree under quilt, or top quilt, top quilt. Um, so my hammock gear 20 degree out, top quilt, 18 ounces. Love this thing. Um, kept me warm. 
nice and OD green. Solid. 18 ounces for that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, coming down, continuing with like what I said earlier, we had we were running out of time. So I just threw my tent on the bottom of my pack. This is the footprint for my MSR hubba. No hubba hubba, just one hubba. So there's the uh, there's a stuff sack, there's a the ground cloth. And rain fly. And on the very bottom was is the tent body. Cool. So that is the whole inner pack section other than right here I got a three liter zip platypus, which that's actually water from the trip that I filtered. Um, I didn't drink it all going to the to the um, Mount Wilson. So I thought I had less than that in there, but it turns out I still had a lot of water hiking, which I could have drank. Um, on the very outside of the pack, the front, or the front uh, MSR hubba um, poles, tent poles. Very down in this section, I got some peanut butter that I was going to put in my pot tie, but never did. Uh, zing it, about 50-ish feet of it. Um, crackers that went up to the top of Mount Wilson that we didn't we didn't eat. Um, Gold barn always needs always need for hiking. All right, so that that pocket's empty. This right pocket, a cliff bar that I didn't eat, and I packed in the whole time too. Uh, cliff, cliff block, hot, uh, shot blocks. These are like the goo shots that you drink. Um, these are just in like a square gummy bear material. Um, they taste good, and they give you actually a crap ton of uh, energy. We were hiking up to Wilson. And the guy I was hiking with, Donnie, he was getting real tired and thinking about turning around. And I uh, gave him one of these. And next, I was like, all right, it'll take four to five minutes to uh, set in. And next thing you know, he was kicking my butt on the trail. And he's like, man, I don't know if the trail is either flatter or uh, that block he gave, or that thing he gave me worked. So it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny how that works. Now on that, that side, just a uh, smart water bottle um, to pack in water. And ready? Oh, oops, that time. And on the right side pocket, we have some sticks. Packed out some sticks for some reason. I don't know how those got there, but we brought some sticks. Cool. On the reverse side of the pack, we got, of course, the uh, platypus drinking tube. Um, the world's loudest whistle, the storm whistle. Those things are loud and awesome. Up here in this pocket, I carry a little RAI thermometer, which is always handy to have on hand. Um, Delorme Ex uh, Explorer SE, so my SOS plus um, GPS messenger. And uh, this was nice to have because we showed up late. We were coming out late because we went to Wilson. It took so much time. Um, this was nice to text my dad to be like, hey, we're hiking down, but... Uh, but we're, we're running late, which we, we, uh, we're hiking out in the dark. And then on this side of my hip belt, I've got my Mora Companion. And it's still got gross tuna juice on it. So I'm to throw that in the dishwasher. Stainless steel version, not, uh, not the carbon steel. And that side, nothing there. And that was it. Other than, of course, food and stuff like that. Um, stuff that you eat, drink. Um... My boots are in my truck still, and my trekking poles are in my truck too, which they're just black diamond.